ordinary people that are so deeply in love with Jesus that they can't help but go and talk about him. Hey church, welcome to week eight of Home Groups. We're so glad to have you. Um, my name is Ryan and I'm an elder here at the church and uh, just thanks for coming. Um, today you're gonna watch a sermon jam. It's by John Piper and it's about Hebrews 12, one. And really for me what it's about is, is really the gist of being a Christian. Um, the Bible's not just a book of rules. It is, sure, it has, suggestions of what you should do and shouldn't do but really God took that old covenant and he nailed it on the cross with Jesus Christ and now we're in a new covenant and then the basics of the new covenant is just to live your life uh, in a relationship with Jesus and when you love somebody you treat them right and you you know you do what they would want you to do so you know I'll hold a door open for my wife or or I'll um, I'll help my kids out with something that they need um, because I love them and that's just about not being selfish and about throwing away things that are the selfish things and doing what Christ would have you do for him. So watch John Piper. You're going to love it. I know I do. Chapter 12, verse 1, near the end of the verse. Let us lay aside every encumbrance and sin which so easily entangles us and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. There are a couple of things said here as a means to running. It says, lay aside every encumbrance and sin which so easily entangles us. Not just sins. Don't just lay aside sins to run this race. Lay aside every other weight that gets in your way. What this says is, don't just ask, what's wrong with it? Don't just ask, is it a sin? That's about the lowest question you can ask in life. So what, well, preacher, what question should I ask if it's not, is it a sin? And the answer is, does it help me run? Does it get in my way when I'm trying to become more patient, more kind, more gentle, more loving, more holy, more pure, more self-controlled? Does it get in my way or does it help me run? Look to Jesus and lay aside sins for sure and lots of other stuff too. And a little voice is going to say, this looks like a lot of loss and not much gain. At that point, open your Bible to Hebrews 12, 2 and look at how Jesus in Gethsemane said, tomorrow morning is going to be a lot of loss. This is going to be mega loss at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. In fact, it's going to happen all night long. I will never sleep again before I die. And it's going to hurt like hell, literally. How did he do that? For the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross. So the answer is, yes, it's going to be loss. But I promise you, on the authority of God's word, the Christian life is gain. Say to the flesh and say to Satan, the sufferings of this life are not worth comparing to the glory that is to be revealed to me. And so I will lay aside every weight and I will lay aside every sin and I will run with Jesus. Jesus.